Today I feel like my facial features are too big for my face. What do you reckon? I think it's perfect. I think it's all just a bit too big for my head this morning. Welcome to the start of another weekly. It's lunchtime on a Tuesday. We just had the most monster sandwich with avocado, mozzarella, loads of different hams. I dipped mine in balsamic, had some rocket, it was nice. Guess what? Our pasta delivery came again. Oi. Last week I was moaning about um, pasta evangelists. I just thought it was a little bit, like it just wasn't what I was expecting and that's my fault for not um, reading it properly, but We'd already ordered another two pasta meals for this week, where we thought we'd get like, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this week's is. So we've got two meals. We're gonna freeze one because we've got stuff in the fridge we need to use first. This says an ice pack, but these just, they're not that icy. They're not that cold. Um, but this is ravioli. They look quite nice. One of them split. There's two bags, one for each of us. It also comes with some little bacon in a pot. So we get to fry up some bacon. Nice. We can only have one of those for Oh yeah, have it for lunch tomorrow. For our second meal, we've got carbonara. Um, and I was so excited when we ordered this because I was like, I'm gonna learn how to make a carbonara. I've always wanted to know that, but um, it kind of just comes pre-made. So we've got this saucy stuff. We've got some pasta and we've got some cheese. So yeah, that's our meals for the next couple of days. Carbonara, ravioli. So even though these were in that box, the lard ones are for the carbonara. I am very aware that most of the things I vlog about in like over the past couple of weeks and especially since we've been in lockdown practically everything is food related but that's because it's our one small pleasure in life you know the one thing that we get to look forward to three times a day um, so I'm going to show you what we're making for dinner it's one of our faves that we've discovered recently and it is from Ian Haste's book it's his seven day basket and it's a sausage bake with balsamic roasted onions, butternut and broccoli. We don't have rosemary and we don't have butternut squash, but we do have peppers, aubergine, sweet potato, um, onions and sausages. So yeah, we're gonna bake this, roast it for half an hour. OMG, look at this. Looks so good. Hey guys, it is Wednesday today, hump day, my vlogs uploading and ready to go up tonight. It's lunchtime and we're having our ravioli that we got from the pasta delivery yesterday. It's um, Anduja and it's actually really good. It's got a nice kick to it. This is what it looks like and we've also heated up some leftovers from last night's dinner as well. <laughs> That was just me releasing some pent up frustration um, of just feeling frustrated of not being able to get in the zone today. Um, it is 10 to 3, I've made an iced coffee, not a whipped one because I couldn't be bothered to stand there and whip it, but with some soy milk. So I'm going to drink this and spend the next couple of hours in the zone. Uh, G has made us turmeric shots, which is literally just turmeric powder and water. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. No. Nah. Oh, it's going to be so grim. Hot, hot water. Yeah, it's going to be gross. Yeah. You're doing yours first. No, we're doing it together. What? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot. How much turmeric did you put in that? Less than a teaspoon. Oh. Yeah. Down in one. It can't be worse than Sambuca, can it? It's not as bad as you think. That's the stuff, isn't it? There's loads left of mine. That would be much nicer with a lot of, um, a little bit of ginger in. 
A little bit of ginger, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of lemon juice. <laughs> bit less too <laughs> Is that gonna stain my tea? It's dinner time. G's making the carbonara from our pasta from delivery. From scratch. From scratch. <laughs> well, that means we've had two massive pasta meals today, and I'm feeling a bit nauseous because we just played a computer game and it was amazing, but I couldn't finish it because it made me feel so dizzy. Um, so yeah, I hope I can eat this, it looks really good. Nice bit of carbonara. That noise. <laughs> it is Thursday, I've just whipped up a humongous salad. Just trying to use up all the remaining fresh stuff we have. We have got a fresh fruit and vegetable delivery coming tomorrow. Um, and we've got, we, we might be having beans on toast for night, tonight for dinner. So I didn't want to have like a sandwich for lunch because that's a lot of bread. So in here we've got um, rocket, we've got three beans, we've got quinoa, we've got olives, apple, goat's cheese, onions, coriander, tomato and a little um, salad dressing. We've also got some boiled eggs and some ham left over. <laughs> it's random. That salad was really nice, but I've just gone to pick up. So basically, I keep, every Easter, I keep my leftover like Easter eggs once I'm working my way through it in a Tupperware because that's how I like to enjoy my Easter eggs. I like to break it up in a Tupperware and then like just snack on it every now and again um, when I want to. And I left this one in the bedroom yesterday. It was a lint bunny. I was so looking forward to it and it completely melted. I've just snapped it in half, but look at it. That does not look like healthy chocolate, but it, and it's molded to the shape of this Tupperware. I was so looking forward to this. I'm still gonna eat it though. Even though it does look a bit bad now. <laughs> mm. We have beans on toast for dinner. Um, we are running dangerously low on Sriracha, we need to get our hands on some more, but we haven't been able to find it anywhere in any supermarket, so we might need to order it online. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Thought I'd give you guys a little Avo update. Here are all my Avo babies that I'm trying to grow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, <laughs> these ones down this end have been here for about three weeks a month and there is no update so far new ones kind of down here are a couple of days and then there was one this one is looking quite promising because it's split down the middle and one of them has like a little nipple coming out i think you can see there so hopefully one of these bait will sprout something a little bit promising i also mentioned in last week's vlog that i bought some herb kits so i can start growing some herbs and chilies and stuff on my windowsill um, and they've both come now so i'm going to do this tomorrow i've just kind of left them out on the side um to like de-germify for the past few days so the first one i got is this one i got them both from amazon i'll leave a link down below the very decent herbs at home and it's really cute it looks like this and this is chalkboard paint and it comes with some chalk so you can kind of write on it um what herbs they are and then it comes with the soil and the seeds so we have parsley fertilizer got some basil and we've got some chives the second one that i bought is this one which is tiny this was 15 pounds but look how small it was and um, i got this one because it has a lot more including coriander and i would love to grow my own coriander at home so this has basil parsley thyme chives coriander and rocket how good would that be if i could grow rocket salad at home and um, so i'm going to plant these babies at the weekend and i also have some chilies on the way from ebay that i bought I, I don't think I'm going to get here for like another week or something, but yeah. I also bought this Velcro plant tie things to keep some of my plants in check. I'm also going to do this at the weekend. So if you would like to see me making some herbs and um, pruning some plants, stay tuned because it'll be coming in this vlog. I feel like I've been quite productive with work over the past couple of days. I have to wake up early for a phone call tomorrow. Um, and yeah, just continue with what I'm working on. 
The NHS clapping is happening again. It's so nice to see everyone outside. Hey team, it's Friday today. Um, it's like two, three o'clock. I haven't started vlogging yet because I've just been working. I say I've been working, I've been getting very procrastinating, I've been procrastinating and getting very distracted by Animal Crossing gameplays on YouTube, which is my new guilty pleasure. Three weeks ago, I placed an order for Good60, which I've spoken about before. Good60 is a brand that pick up your food from Borough Market and deliver it to you on electronic bikes. It's great for the environment, it's keeping small business open, it's keeping some of our favourite Borough Market stalls open. About a month ago we did our first order and then it got so busy and we couldn't get another slot for ages but yeah I booked this three weeks ago and it's all just come so I thought I'd quickly show you some of it. Um, first up from this Tua La Tua pasta place I got some ravioli, spinach and ricotta pasta and I got some Papadel egg pasta as well. We have got some pasta sauce in the fridge and I thought it might be quite nice to just make a veg pasta and have the ravioli as like a lunch thing. I got a pie from Pie Minster. Oh, this might be good for dinner actually. It's a chicken of Aragon pie, which is chicken and leek and bacon. I can't wait to try that. And then from Ted's Veg, we got a box full of vegetables, which we got last time and it was incredible. Veg and fruit. Oh, we've got some kiwis. Love kiwis, lettuce, massive oranges, apples, broccoli, eggs, parsnip. Is that a parsnip? I don't know what that is. Some little potatoes in there too. And then finally, I got some meat from Ginger Pig, some sausages, and also some steak, I think. It is uh, nearly seven o'clock. Tonight, I'm hosting a video chat for my sister. This would be her hen weekend, um, this like starting today, ending on Sunday. And obviously that's not going ahead anymore. So I decided it might be nice to get all the girls who are supposed to be on that hen to join in on a Zoom call and we'll play a little Mr. and Mrs. game and just like make her feel happy. Um, I have decided to call, set up a separate Zoom account so this guy can call in. So he'll just be on the call. I think it would be a laugh. Pierre the Pinot. I've also just opened a bottle of wine which I've been saving for a special occasion from the Loire Valley and it is the Vouvray Domain Sylvian Gaudron. It's a Vouvray anyway and I love a Vouvray. So yeah. Very excited to be drinking this tonight. We're cooking dinner. We're cooking potatoes and some fried veg and this really cool chicken which we got from Borough Market as well. It's like a bit of a Nando's chicken so it should be really nice. So we're going to roast that. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Ignore this. This is Love Hearts. Can I break a huge Easter egg with one hand? Just it by, is huge. Just by gripping it. It makes your hands look small and your hands are huge. Can I have a go? Yeah. Ready? Oh, you want to hit it? Yeah. I was yeah. trying to break it, just squeezing it. Oh, <laughs> should I try that? <laughs> I can't even hold it. I can't <laughs> even hold it. one of those extra thick eggs we should put into ours. This, oh, yeah. like... this is an extra thick egg. It's got dime bar in it. <gasps> Babe. Ah, don't try that at home. Ow. I can't feel my little <laughs> finger. Don't try it on your head. <laughs> no, don't do it. Yes. Oh. Guys, can you see that? Can you see where... It's red, right on my knuckle. This is why you don't get into fights. It's Saturday. We've come out for a walk today. Walked all the way to Brick Lane. I haven't like done any exercise this week, so we thought a long walk might be nice. And it's really weird to see it like this. I've never seen it so quiet and so empty. 
kind of making me sad like I was in a good mood and now I feel a bit sad. Is that weird? That I think there's normally a market here every weekend but obviously not today. This is the most terrifying thing. Bessie, look at that. What is that? That's so scary. Oh my god, look at all the baby chicks. How cute are they? Oh my god. There's so many of them. I have pretty much spent all day after our walk playing Animal Crossing. I know that's boring and I'm not being as good a vlogger as I normally am at a weekend. But it's just my downtime. It's like it's like how I like to relax, you know? Our walk was good. We were out for nearly two hours. This is how many steps I did today compared to the week. Oh, my God, isn't that shocking? Look, these days I did 100 steps. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, yeah, I'm embarrassed about that. For dinner, I'm making homemade chips. I have sprinkled some smoked paprika and also some... Raz El Hanout on them and olive oil. I need to add some salt. We're also doing honey roasted parsnips and broccoli with garlic and asparagus. And I also got these huge steaks from Borough Market. These were so expensive. I think they were nearly ten pounds each. So they better be worth it. But pay for a good steak in a restaurant. What are you saying like 20, 25 quid? Yeah, a so true. a good steak in a restaurant, probably like thirty quid. Yeah, a good horse more, whatever. We've just got to cook it properly. It's a bargain, isn't it? Well, that's where we fall down. Doesn't G look handsome today in his shirt? Why are you wearing that shirt? Going out. <laughs> got a dinner party to go to. <laughs> it's because you Just got kidding, to... stay home. Cut these up. Right, let's get the veg in. This meal is humongous. It's definitely too big. Definitely too much food. Oh. That dinner was so good. Um. I've just poured us a glass of Loire Valley wine, white muscadet. So we're going to drink this and snuggle to watch something. We're not sure what yet. We can't choose. I'm going to shave G's beard. Well, not shave it. I'm going to trim it. I'm going to just make it look nice. This is the before. So I'm just going to absorb this bit and then sort this bit. I think I did a pretty good job of that beard trim. Um, he's just in the shower. I'll show you the after when he's out. I am going to have a little bit of a pruning of my baby plants today. And then I'm going to plant my herb garden. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day on Animal Crossing. The entire Snooks family. Nan, granddad, um, two sets of aunts and uncles, all their kids. So all my cousins. Um, we've yeah we've started a whatsapp group and every day we've been doing a quiz on it so the past two days my uncle has done a picture round and it's been fun anyway and today another set of my um, aunts and uncles are doing a quiz too so we're going to join in with that I've also got a call with my bestie today as well this evening to catch up with her so yeah it's a nice sociable day but also a very chilled one at home which will be nice i'm feeling a bit a little bit pmsy today i'm due on next week and yeah i just feel a bit like keep getting like angry and sensitive at the stupidest things but at least i know why um yeah i'm gonna give my plants a quick water this one changes so differently like He's really a wide and open at the moment, but after I water him, he should be standing a lot more upright. So I'll show you him later in the day. And then I really need to sort out the cheese plant today. He is so dry all the time. Cool. So yeah, I got these plant ties from Amazon. I saw Megan Ellaby talking about them, so I thought I'd give it a go, tying my cheese plant up because she's a mess and she's just not looking very happy at the moment. Yeah, she's all over the shop um, and I've tried to use string to tie her up and some like grips, but 
none of them are really strong enough so I'm hoping these velcro ties will be better and I'm, I think I'm just going to wrap the, around the mole pos mole pole moss pole <laughs> Okay, so this is him now, and in all honesty, he's looking a bit of a mess. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I think he just wasn't very happy for a while, quite recently. So he just started getting all these brown spots and like falling off a bit. But there are still some new leaves. Like this is a new leaf, and um, got another new leaf here, and a new one. Where is he gone? Which was still folded up here this is a new one as well so so hopefully he'll start growing upwards a little bit more i've also cut off a chunk to propagate here um so there was a massive bit here which i just cut off in order to regrow into a new pot so here is one that i did about two months ago now I chopped him off and he's growing really nice roots so I've got some soil coming next Wednesday so I'm going to root him like plant him so that will be another plant and then this is the one I just took so just cut him off the bottom <laughs> put him in a Schweppes cup and um, this one has like a really gorgeous leaf on it and then a not so gorgeous leaf on it with this kind of sun damage so I'm hoping he will survive and turn into something beautiful, maybe start sprouting some new new roots, we will see. Okay, now it is time to do my herb gardens. I'm still waiting for another batch of chilli seeds, but I'll do that when they arrive. Let's get all my ingredients out. Okay, so for the first kit, you get these little compact soil discs and apparently you just put it in water and it will expand which it doesn't seem to be doing why is it not expanding this it was a fail i didn't know whether to keep it in the paper or not so i took one two out and then the water's gone bad but look they have doubled Gross. So, here are my herb gardens. Uh, I've got, well, this is smudged a little bit already, but I've got basil, chives, parsley, and then I've got this little um, plant holder which I've put my other ones in and then I've got two spares here and I'm keeping them on the windowsill in the bedroom um, and moving them back and forth every day this room is a really bright room and our plants love it in here um, so yeah I'm hoping this will do it do them good I am going to my friend's island for the first time on Animal Crossing and I'm very excited about it um, I really want to get into Animal Crossing videos like gaming videos but I didn't get the switch that I can record my TV on, like my screen on. I was too impatient and it was out of stock. But um, yeah, if you guys would like a little tour, I'm sure I could try and find a way to do it. Look at my friend's park. You can get Chris candy floss. <laughs> Where's she taking me? For dinner this evening we have turkey kebabs, homemade chips, broccoli and some salad. So dinner was amazing. We are now going to play a game. G bought this a while ago and we've been meaning to play it. It's called Mr Jack Pocket and it is kind of like a Sherlock Holmes and Jack the Ripper um, little board game. 
and I'm ridiculously excited because I used to have a computer game back in the day which was like Jack the Ripper solving no Sherlock Holmes solving Jack the Ripper and it was so fun so I, I have high hopes for this game and being like filling all my detective fantasies looks like this gonna teach me how to play yes <laughs> so